this is Tyler from Tandem Cross. Today, we'll be doing an in-depth installation and tuning guide for your Manicore X lower, covering preparing the receiver, fitting the lower into your receiver, pull weight adjustment, and grip installation. The rest of the videos will be playlisted with this one and will likely answer any questions you may have, so be sure to check out the rest of the series. As a friendly reminder, these instructions are also available in written form on our website. Always be sure to check there for the latest information regarding tips and tricks, as well as in the case of revisions to the product or to the base firearm. Please check the firearm and work area to remove any ammunition and magazines, as well as to make sure that you are wearing the appropriate safety gear. For any of the fasteners that we'll show in this installation video, we recommend tightening them and applying some blue thread locker. The first step will be to prepare your barreled action for mounting to your lower. Take the action out of your existing stock or chassis following the manual of the firearm or the instructions for your stock or chassis if that was purchased after the fact. Remove both the receiver cross pins, the ones that hold the trigger assembly into the upper, as well as this large pin at the rear, the bolt stop pin, the one that holds the bolt in and comes out for disassembly. Most of the time on a factory 1020 receiver, once the stock is removed, these three pins will come out on their own. But sometimes, especially if the firearm is new, these pins may require a punch to be drifted out and they may take a little bit of force. To go over what you'll receive with your Manicore X lower, you'll have the lower itself as shown here with three pins stowed in the rear, two silver, these are the receiver cross pins, and then one, this is the bolt buffer pin as well as a pre-installed air grip screw and star washer. Alongside that, you'll receive the rear accessory components, which is the rear patini stump, the sling QD cylinder, the bolt for mounting those to the back of your lower, as well as a 1.5 millimeter Allen key. That is for trigger adjustment coming soon. Step number one will be to install this black pin that is stowed in the back of the lower into the upper. This part will replace the bolt buffer pin and this can be installed simply by pushing it in and giving it just gentle pressure and it will slide across from one side to the other side. Once the pin gets close, like we show here, you can reach in with your finger, just give it a little bit of a push to make sure it aligns properly with the other side of the receiver. And then once this pin is roughly flush on both sides, that pin is installed, tighten the bolt. This is a great part to purchase multiple of, especially if you're gonna be running multiple uppers on your same lower. That way, pre-install that buffer pin into all of your uppers and it's one fewer step you'll need to do if you want to switch between your uppers on the fly. You may have the urge to dry fire your Manicore X. Resist the temptation for just a moment as it is not recommended to dry fire without this being first installed in the upper. The hammer will not stop it vertical, it'll keep swinging and then you can cause a little bit of damage to your Manicore X. Moving on to grip mounting you will need a 3 16 Allen, which if you've purchased our AR-15 Hive Grip with your Manicore X, you will already have received this. You can use that to remove the screw and star washer from your Manicore X lower. And please note, when it comes to installing a grip, whether it is our grip or another aftermarket grip, please use the shorter grip screw that we provide that is pre-installed in your lower do not use a standard mil spec length grip screw. To install this, install similarly to any other AR-15 grip would. Put the fastener on your Allen key, fastener in the grip, line everything up, and tighten the grip screw nice and snug 
before we install the lower into our upper, there's one more thing we need to attend to, which are these two sections of O-ring cord on either side of the lower. If you have a Ruger OEM receiver, then the internal width of the receiver is such that these two O-rings will hold the lower in nice and snug and be just fine. If you are going to be using the Manicore X with an aftermarket receiver, they tend to be more snug internally and you may need to remove one or both of these O-rings. To do so, you can use the 1.5 millimeter Allen key that we provide or a small flathead or similar and use that to pluck the O-ring cord segment out of the sidewall. And then you can set that aside, put it in your range bag or leave it in your storage compartment. If you're going to be using your Manicore X with multiple uppers, then you can either tune the lower to the tightest of your receivers, or you can keep the O-ring uh, cord segment in your grip and then install it when you need and take it out when you can. I'll go ahead and put this back in because as this is a Ruger receiver, it benefits from both of those cord segments being installed. To install the lower, we'll take out the two receiver cross pins and then slide the lower into the upper, align the holes, push the pin in at the front, push the pin in at the rear, and you'll feel a subtle click at the end of travel when the ball detent on those self-captive pins pops into a little retaining groove. At this point, you can flick the safety off and you can feel the trigger. And now would be a good time to make any adjustments to the trigger pull weight if you would like. If you would like to do so, you can push out the cross pins with chamber flag, tip of a bullet, Allen key, anything similar to that and you can stow the pins easily, either for takedown or for assembling and maintenance. Taking the ball end and inserting them into the holes at the back, and that will hold the pins securely in place. Trigger adjustment can be performed in two places. One, on the top of the housing, right next to the hammer, there's this hole. This is for adjusting the pull weight up or down. And then on the face of the trigger, this is the over travel for the trigger adjustment. On screen, you'll see a chart that relates how many rotations of the trigger pull weight adjustment to approximately the uh, end pull weight of the trigger. And then for the over travel, you can take your Allen key, insert that into the face of the trigger reach back into that screw, and then you can turn it. More thread protruding out the rear means there's gonna be less trigger over travel, and then backing that screw out will give you more trigger over travel. We already remove a large portion of it here, and you can choose to remove more if you would like, although we do recommend always leaving a very small amount, one to two millimeters of over travel, just to ensure that in various environmental conditions, the gun continues to function as intended. Once you've made your intended adjustments, you should install your Manicore X lower into your upper and then verify your adjustments. Make sure that the trigger continues to function. And in the case that you are shooting a uh, shooting sport discipline that has a rigid trigger pull weight requirement, it would be advantageous and recommended to verify your pull weight at this stage after the firearm is assembled. Now to go over basic field stripping, like we showed, you can push out the pins. I use the chamber flag, the chamber flag the first time. Allen key also works fine. Pull this out. Pins go in, ball end down. And then if you need to remove your bolt, you can insert an Allen key or a flathead 
something like that behind this pin, lever it forward, and then the bolt stop pin will pop out. You can stow that in the third hole again for safekeeping while you pull the bolt out for cleaning. At this point, a large portion of the installation has been completed and we will cover forend as well as buttstock mounting in a follow-up video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Thanks, Tyler. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video on whatever social media platform you use. I'm Luke with Tandem Cross, and we're here to make your good guns great. Keep up with us on social media for daily updates. I'll see you next time.